If you have back pain that gets worse with bending over or sitting for long periods, I'm gonna show you how to fix it today and give you a written program to make sure it doesn't come back. If this sounds like you, try this test. Get down on the ground and lay completely flat. Now you're gonna lay like this for 30 seconds. If this starts creating pain, get up, the test is done. This does not apply to you. But if after 30 seconds you still feel okay, I want you to lay down here for three minutes. Now let's say time has passed, this is about three minutes. You wanna get up off the ground without flexing your back. So I'm gonna have Brian get up off the ground right now. Notice how he's maintaining his neutral spine and then he's gonna stand all the way back up without bending that spine. Now, if Brian gets up and he feels better after that three minutes, he has less back pain, less sciatica shooting pain, that means that likely his pain can be traced back to a disc bulge or herniation. And this is going to be a very helpful part of his recovery, doing this every couple hours. But here's a couple more things that can help him. Tip number one to fix this type of injury is to avoid certain things like rounding your back during daily movements like picking up a cooler off the ground. Here's what you do instead. We're gonna do the short stop squat to pick this up. He's going to brace his core, slide his hands down his thigh. In this position, his back is in neutral, not in flexion. He's gonna maintain that brace, keep the weight close, and then stand up. But what if it's not something heavy? Well, what you do day to day, even picking up a shoe off the ground matters. So he can do two things. He can either do a golfer's pickup where he goes down on one leg, which is uh, more spine sparing, or he can brace and go down into a lunge. This keeps his spine safe and keeps him from triggering his pain by moving into flexion over and over during his day. Now for a healthy individual without a history of back pain, don't fear spinal flexion, especially with low load tasks like tying your shoes or picking up a ball. However, for the person where bending forward creates pain, and laying flat feels better, it would often be a good idea to minimize spine bending during your day as changing spinal mechanics can have a direct impact on triggering or calming down symptoms in that situation. This means lifting heavy objects with a deadlift technique, keeping the load close to your body, or a squat depending on which feels most comfortable, and using a golfer's pickup or a lunge with lighter objects as Brian demonstrated. Now, because Brian felt good after that three minutes of laying on his stomach when first testing, I'm going to have him do this every three hours. And here's the progression. He's gonna start with just one fist underneath his chin, just a little bit more extension. And then if that feels good, he can even go to two fists, just get a little bit more extension. We're not jamming up and doing a ton of press ups, but we're just gradually getting a little bit more extension. Again, laying like this for three minutes, he's gonna be taking some deep breaths in and out. And every deep breath, imagining his belly button just dropping towards the ground to gently provide a little bit more extension to the back, which can help basically suck back in that herniation from its protruded position. And tip number three is what you should add into your daily programming, which is some stability work. The most simple thing that you can do is some very purposeful single leg bounce. He's going to stiffen his core. He should feel this pushing out laterally. Then he's going to raise his leg a little bit, making sure to clinch his fist to radiate a little bit of stiffness through the body. Hold for five to 10 seconds and then put it back down. He can just start off with just five to 10 of these on each side every few hours. You wanna progress that? Close your eyes progression even more, bring your leg up, and then you can even move it to the side, which is tough for a lot of people. But stability work is definitely necessary for tip number three. So we have three steps in this recovery plan. Step one is to avoid the movements that trigger pain. For today's video, this is the person with pain bending forward, also called a flexion intolerance. Step two is to lay on your stomach a few times a day if that test at the start of this video helped decrease your symptoms. And step three is to add stability work to your daily routine. While today we discussed single leg balance as a method to accomplish that, I would also recommend performing the McGill Big 3 core stability routine that I've talked about in other videos. Now rebuilding back pain is no simple fix, so if you feel like the tips in this were not enough for your back, check out my book Rebuilding Milo on Amazon.com. Chapter 1 is all about the back. It gives you simple assessments that you can do to find out what your body needs and progressions so that you can rebuild your back and get back to doing everything you want in life. Amazon.com. And for more on how you can enhance your core stability, check out this video on the McGill Big 3 Core Stability Routine.